all in all. We're over our local park, Cedars Park, sandwiched between Wolf and Cross and Chesson, Hertfordshire. And uh, I've only seen these corgi. There's a couple of little poodles over there. And uh, it's a bit of a flirt. We've met her a couple of times before. And uh, yeah, she'll probably loved up with Max. But Max being Max is like, yeah, yeah, oh, he's just one of me birds, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's just, I don't care, does he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, little guys. Uh, I'm not too sure. Vinny's, Vinny's under van. No, Vinny's over there. No, he's going that way now. He's going that way as well. Don't know where Max is going. And uh, yeah, I think she likes Max somehow. I don't know how, but she does. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Pembrokeshire, I believe. Corgi. And, uh, yeah. Max is like, yeah, all right, yeah. Do your swap. What are you going to do? Is that it? You sure? Are you sure? I don't know. What are you going to do? Her mum's calling. Come on, mum's calling. Oh, what do you want, Vinny? Vinny? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right, so, yeah. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. All loved up with Max. And Max is like, say, you know. Yeah, I'm just a cool guy. Yeah, I've got so many birds, and I mean, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, dear. Makes you laugh, doesn't me. There's nothing better than friendly dogs. Not too friendly. Jumping all over you. Like loony loonies. Vinny's off again. Vinny, come on. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Vinny. He's doing his own thing. A bit bright, sun's directly in front of us. It's around about, ooh, 10 to 8 in the morning. It's a Monday. I think it's the 5th of August. So, um, yeah, already started the month. Five days in. This just goes so fast. Those stumps there, they were originally weeping willows and it's been there since I was a kid so longer than 60 years a lot longer than 60 years they had a bit of rot in them so they kind of thought to fall down on people so they decided to cut them down it's a great shame in one way or another you don't want a tree falling on people and uh, you don't really cut them down so best of both evils cut it down this tree here with a brown bit on it the dead bits on it Come the winter, that'd be basically just a giant stick because all that green stuff falls off. They've got one exactly the same where the entrance is as you come into the park. And yeah, if he's away with the fairies, he's looking for squirrely squirrels. Yeah, just a great morning, absolutely fantastic morning. Really, really enjoying it. On our way home. You probably didn't hear that going over. It's a green neck parakeet. And uh, it's spread from North London. Kew Gardens, round about that sort of area. A huge flocks of them. Yeah, like I say, you just. They get everywhere. Some people think they're a nuisance, some people will enjoy them. We get quite a few bits and pieces in the country that come here and they settle down, they start breeding. They got scorpions from the London Underground. They got um, wallabies, little, little little kangaroo type things in Scotland. They got green little parakeets all over the southeast. And just the name three. And you got what's a grey squirrel? They go back a couple hundred years or more. They're invaders. Yeah. Great stuff, eh?
Right. This is um, our way back to the car park. Go past a replica of a World War One tank and uh, a replica of one of the soldiers. I think it's Flanders, not quite sure. Belgian, around about that World War I. Uh, apparently, he went to go fight for king and country. 17 years old, dead. Uh, it's such a waste of life that was, World War I. Now again, what war isn't a waste of life? More or less all of them, isn't there? We got your tongue hanging out for you. They're getting ready, cut the grass over there, got a couple of machines, getting all ready ready. It's unfortunate the amount of rubbish people come in with the park, leave it and go home. If they can bring it to the park, I'm sure they can take it home. That's lazy, ignorant people, seriously. Where's he gone? What are you up to? Yeah, you, what are you doing? Behave yourself. I've got to watch you every two minutes, have I? Should have more sense, Mr. Max. Now, where's he gone? That's the ball. He's always away with the fairies, isn't he? Can't behave himself for two minutes. For two minutes, he just can't behave himself. He not had enough. He'll be sleeping till Christmas when we get home. That's the um, replica. A 17 year old that was killed World War One, and uh, that's a replica of a bell tank, I believe. World War One used to be the original one that stand there, it was a gift to the people of Chesant after the World War One. It was taken away before or during World War Two for scrap. The one you see in front of you that's made from plywood. They've done a good job, haven't they? A very good job. Got a plaque here that tells you more. That's what the original looked like. I say it's not too bad, is it? Eh? Replica, 260. Not bad, eh? And uh, this chap here. There you go. Queen Victoria's Rifle Brigade. He's just 17. Dreadful waste. Dreadful waste. Right, Mr. Max, we're going home. Come on. Come on. Pretty soon, another couple of little doggies. He's going to go over a sniff. <laughs> That's what he likes. He likes being chased. <laughs> He ain't worn out enough, has he? Well, he's been running absolutely everywhere. Now he finds another little dog. Max, get your nose out. Max. He does his own thing as he's getting older, I'm sure he does. That's a big old factory, that one. What size are that? That's massive. Wow. And, uh, like I say, like over there, we've seen him loads of times over here. Lovely little dogs, little Westies. Come on, guys. Max, come on, you too. It's going to be a warm day today. Uh, heavy rain, thunderstorms, all the rest of it. Scheduled for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Seeing as we're leaving, there's no grey skies, blue skies, white fluffy clouds. Oh, I can't see rain. And then again, you never know your luck. Garden can certainly use it. It's rock hard, absolutely rock hard. Oh, uh, luckily we're going home. Obviously, they're going to start cutting all the lawns, the big machines. Uh, a lot of these trees over here. This, this is the yule tree. And later on in the year, or early next year. They have little red berries and the black, black pips. Up, up, come, 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 come. Wait, 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 
Wait, good boy, stay. Oh, who's gone that way? Good boy, good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, mate, he's really cool. Proud of him. What are you doing, mate? Yeah, see, the old tree. Uh, you find them a lot in cemeteries. Uh, the wood, people used to burn them at Christmas. It gives off a scent. Yule tile log. Yule, yule tile, tie, tie log or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you know what it is. And uh, it goes all the way back to pagan times. All them, all them spooky sort of black magic bits and pieces. We're not talking about a box of chocolates either, you know, black magic. Uh, I mean, if you, if you like your mysteries and your mysteries and all your bits and pieces, history's mysteries. That's quite a good one, though. I like that. And, uh, like I say, fantastic stuff. All right, guys, got a lovely leave you. This apparently is what's left of the original building. I'm not sure if this is the front of the building or the back of the building. That big square hole there was a window. And, uh, the stone or the concrete bit there, the lighter grey, that's the window frame. Yeah, phew, not much is it? No, oh, we keep on going. Move, 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 move. Got to see where he's going first. Where's he going? He's going that way. Move, move, move. Come here, come. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Mixy up, up. Max, up. 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 Good boy, wait. As I say, you got to keep an eye on this guy. He's doing his job, and we're trying our best to keep it out of the way. So, we're going to call it a day, and uh, I'm not sure which way he's going to go, so we'll wait until he goes one way or the other way. Nice, right, he's gone that way, we'll we go the other way. Oh, he's going that way. Let's go back in there. Right, we're we're, we're calling this a day, this one. Wait, wait. Right, see you later, guys. Take care now. Bye bye.